It's Harley. Welcome to my Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 1 and 2 review. Let's see how this goes. I want to start off by saying that I absolutely hate watching one episode at a time. I know that's how the rest of y'all have been doing it this whole time, but that is not how I roll. I want a season. I want to crack it out in a day. I want to get all my story in. And this watching one episode a week thing is killing me. Sucking my soul. That being said, let's look at season six, episode one. The Red Woman. What I loved about this episode is that we get to see a little bit of everybody. We get to catch up with all of the characters and see what they're doing. Um, we get to see Dario and Jorah um, on their road to try to find Danny. We get to see Danny meet the new cow and kind of try to assert like, hey, I am the queen of dragons. I'm the unburnt. I am this. I am that. I have a lot of authority. I'm a queen, damn it. And the new cow just be like, yeah, and you're my prisoner. So, bitch, sit down, <laughs> which was kind of funny. I loved it. Um, I am really excited to see kind of where her storyline goes, of course, but I'm excited to see how everyone's storylines go. We got to see Sansa and Theon, and somehow, miraculously, they made the jump. Nobody broke a leg. They're trotting off through the forest, which is not a really good plan because it's snow. I mean, it's not like you can hide your tracks. Everybody's going to know where you're going. So they're obviously running. They try uh, to mask their direction by cutting through a frozen river. Again, not a great plan because you know, it's frozen, and you have no way of lighting a fire, making a fire, getting warm, hypothermia, I mean, all of it is just running through my head. Um, fortunately, Podrick and Brienne come save the day, uh, get Sansa and Theon free, or free-ish, and um, so we get to see that they're all doing okay. At the end of last season, it was kind of left ambiguous as far as who was killed, Brienne or Stannis. So we know Stannis, I think, is definitely dead. But then again, um, who knows? I mean, anybody could be dead or not dead in this story. Um, we also get to catch up with Arya. All I have to say is, ouch, poor little girl. I mean, she's blind, and then she's getting beat up on to try and teach her a life lesson. I'm sure it's a good thing. I'm sure that it's going to make a lot of sense at some point. But... Bam! She takes a beating. Uh, let's see. So Cersei. So at the end of last season, you all know, I found myself fine, like feeling kind of sorry for Cersei and just being like, okay, she's got all of this stuff that's happened to her. As a mother, I cannot imagine losing a child. And now she's found out that two of her three children are dead. She has been brought down pretty much as low as she can be brought down, which just makes me wonder how bad she's going to fight to get back up. And so that is going to be super interesting. We also get to see, um, oh, what's the third little boy's name? Uh, we get to see the new king. I can't remember his name. Sorry. It's right, like, finally standing up for himself a little bit, finally getting his stuff together and realizing that he is a king, but kings can be somewhat powerless. And him trying to figure out how he's going to make this whole domination thing go down. Um, the, my, the saddest part that I found, Jon Snow is actually dead. I was really hoping that there was going to be some magic way that he could survive getting stabbed in the belly 18 times. But he really is dead. So at least everybody knows he's dead. I was really kind of surprised that there wasn't more of like a, you know... Oh, I don't know who killed him. Oh, my goodness. No, the people that killed him were like, God damn right, I killed him. I killed him. I stabbed him. I don't take it back. I'm happy I did it. And that's that. Moving on. So, I guess I shouldn't have been. It's Game of Thrones. Nothing should be shocking, but I was shocked. I will admit it. And then we find the Sand Snakes striking and killing the princess. So, what I have found in my online research, because you all know I have not had time to read the books, um, is that this is a new storyline, that nobody who's read the books knew about this, that this is not what happens in the books. So it's a brand new storyline for the show. And that's awesome because that means that we're all in the same boat 
Nobody knows what's going to happen. That's really cool. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, of course. The reason that this episode is titled The Red Woman. Oh my god, Melisandre, you are 800 years old and really haggard and really naked at the end of this episode. So that was uh, gross. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Old naked women, not pretty. I'm sorry. I don't know anybody who's 800 and beautiful. Um, all right, moving on to episode two. So we finally, 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 for the love, get to see Brand and what the hell he's been up to. And he's grown about two feet. He's super tall. He has awesome visions that allow him to see what happened in the past. And what I've been told is that he will eventually be traveling to other areas in the past. So we get to see more. Um, it's kind of amazing that we get to see him living in a tree. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, he's obviously been there for a while. What the hell do they eat? What do they, like, live on? You can drink a lot of snow if you melt it down, I guess. And some roots of trees are edible. I don't know. These are the things that go through my head anyway. Um, we get to see the Tyrion, um, how he's uh, sort of working it out while he's in Marine, while he's queenless. Um, he gets to kind of get a feel for the city and go from there. Uh, we get to see that the Night's Watch can suck it. They are just a bunch of a-holes and they're just going to fall apart without somebody leading them. Um, let's see, this episode was really good, but it didn't have as much action as the first episode. Uh, we get to see Jamie finally meeting the High Sparrow um, and kind of feeling him out. And there's that power struggle there and that dynamic. Um, we also get to see that Theon is possibly going home to a ball of crap. Um, his dad was just killed. Spoiler alert! And there's this new King of the Sea guy who I don't remember from the previous episode. So if I'm missing something, feel free to comment on it. But I'm pretty sure he's a new character. We don't know him. I was a little amazed to find out that the... Theon's sister isn't automatically just, you know, queen, that she has to do some sort of rite of passage to be heir or what have you. Um, yeah, and then let's see. So the big thing that I think I want to say, John's fucking alive! Oh my god! He woke up! How did in the hell? That was amazing! So I didn't know that was coming. And it was awesome. It was so awesome. I can't wait to see what they do with this next episode. But again, I've had to wait an effing week. It's killing me. So, something that I wanted to say that nobody else, because I read a bunch of Game of Thrones reviews, has mentioned, is that in these episodes, there's this whole undercurrent. All of our characters through this whole thing have been super confident super aware of where they're going, sure that they are on the right path, that they are killing it. And in these episodes, there's that confidence, but it's almost a false confidence. They're, they're putting on this air of, I know what I'm doing, but we get to see through the whole thing that nobody is really sure of what they're doing, that everybody has this sense of, I don't know if I'm going on the right path now, if what I'm doing is really where I'm needing to be going. So I find it curious that I picked up on that and I don't see a lot of other people out on the web that did. Let me know if that is something that you found too or if it's just me. Maybe that leads into some more interesting parts of the story. But um, yeah, we'll have to see where it goes. I'm really excited to watch episode three. We'll find out what happens next and we'll talk about it later. Bye guys.